Hi, welcome to a National Instruments video for replacing the fan on your PXIE 1073. My name is Tyler Clifton and I'm a product support engineer here at National Instruments for our PXI platform. Now today's video is specifically about the PXIE 1073, but it also applies to our PXI 1031, 1031 DC, 1033, 1036, 1036 DC, and our PXIE 1071 and 1078 chassis. So we'll go ahead and begin today um, with a fan from our field replacement kit, as well as a screwdriver. Now, whenever you get ready to do a replacement on your own, make sure you review your installation guide for very specific instructions. We'll go ahead and start by turning the chassis over. Okay, now that our chassis is turned upside down, we can see that the fan cover is secured by one screw. So we're gonna wanna go ahead and remove that first. And once it's removed, we can pull the fan cover off. Now we can see the fan, and the fan's secured by two screws. So we'll go ahead and loosen those. Next thing to keep in mind is this temperature sensor. When you pull the fan out, you want to be careful not to disrupt it. So we'll go ahead and pull from the sides and pull it away and underneath the temperature sensor. And once we've done that, we can see that the actual fan wiring is still connected, so we'll want to disconnect that now. So now it's free, and we'll go ahead and remove the screws. and set it to the side. Now what we're left with is an empty bay and we'll want to use our fan replacement and our two screws to put it back in. So go ahead and put the screws back into the fan, of course this is your new fan, and situate it into the housing. And just make sure that it's underneath the temperature sensor because we don't want to push that down. Now that the fan is actually in the housing, we'll go ahead and connect the wiring, screw down the screws, and tuck in the wiring harness. A good next check is to make sure that our temperature sensor is nice and centered over the fan. Now the last step is to put the fan cover back on. So we want to get that and the screw to secure it down. Go ahead and put it back in the tabs. Just set it back down. It should be nice and flush. And then put the screw in and tighten. Now we're done with the chassis fan replacement, so we can turn it back over and connect the power. You just replaced the fan. As you can see, this fan replacement was quick and easy. I hope this video will be helpful for your fan replacement. 